Good morning, folks. Well, this went well, didn't it? I watched live for a while, and I must say that unlike last fall, this was the protesters' fault. Bit of good news out of Scotland. This seems like a terrific idea, and this too, if the technology works, why not use it for roads? There was something happening last night. What was it? Man, I'd stare at a ring of fire if I could remember. Oh, well. Dear Texas, stop shaking. It's been days in a row. At least the tropical storm off the Carolina coast probably isn't going to pose much of a threat. Alberto did usher in an early hurricane season, though. We'll have to be on watch now through November. We also had a moderately large quake on the Carlsberg Ridge east of the Gulf of Aden. You can see Ovation Prime has waning particle bombardment here. You can see the readings going back down on the Soho solar wind here. Might remember I said that it appeared we had a CME impact at 2 UTC yesterday. Apparently the NASA folks agree. The question becomes, was that this CME off of the M flare or this tiny one that popped off center disk a day later? We'll find out soon. Either a CME will impact today or we should get hit with a coronal hole stream from that dark region turning away from the center disk. While space weather should be geo-effective later today, the last 24 hours have been quiet. You'll be hard-pressed to find an unstable filament or dangerously complex magnetics within an active region. We had another gamma ray burst last night, folks. You can see it here, just uh, the one at the bottom left of the chart. It was detected around 6 a.m. UTC, just a few hours ago, actually. And look at this. Gamma bursts don't usually show up here on the cosmic ray reading, but this is insane. Very high. I have only once seen it worse, and that was the magnetopause reversal. Don't suppose you remember that, do you? Well, you can see the moon here moved on from the eclipse, but don't think we are done yet. Mercury is about to conjoin Jupiter. You can see that here on the Soho Lasco C3 as well. The moon conjoins Venus on the left there and then moves out of the picture as Mercury conjoins the sun at the end of May and joins Venus as June begins. At that time, the moon is approaching its monthly close approach to Earth just one day before a full moon and lunar eclipse, just one day before the Venus transit. Big news, folks. Be safe.